going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five star gold character gameplay preview video. And today we got Big E, the powerhouse of positivity, and he's out here dancing it up with the unicorns and all that. I mean, why? Why he got the New Day gear on? We can't have we can't have new Big E that doesn't wear the New Day jacket. I mean, come on. Anyways. So let's take a look inside his poster. He is modern era powerhouse, and he's a coach. Moves that destroy crossbreak gems will destroy up to three more crossbreak gems at 9K. That could actually be pretty awesome. I'm not thinking of anybody straight off the top of my head, but I know there is definitely someone that'll benefit from that on my roster. Uh, no gears as of now, and the overhead belly to belly is the four star move, E train, five star move. But we're going to take a look at a three star move set. So we're going to go with the Backbreaker, green, 8 charge, deal 69,000 damage, and choose a 3x4 area to swap to red gems. We got double red moves. We got the Running Splash, 12 charge, deal 146,000 damage, and deal 146,000 bleed damage to your opponent for one turn. That's a lot of bleed. And then we got the Big Ending, 18 charge, finisher, deal 322,000 damage, and modify a 5x5 area into botch gems. So that's a lot of damage and a lot of botch. It's going to be hard to kick out when Big E hits. So these are high charge, but a three by four area to red, that's 12. Add some perks, like you're nearly charging the finisher if there's no red gems on the board. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, they just, it seems like they just want you to have to use this cascade move to fill those because it's such high damage. I don't know if that's a balancing thing or what, but, oh, I actually didn't pick another coach. I didn't pick another coach. Um, I I didn't really need anything. I know that. Like, I was going to just be looking at um, gem damage, I think. Red gem damage. Is there anything other than that 15%? I don't know why I am not just doing the search. I thought there was another red gem. Ooh, I could do any color gems, do 1,100 more damage. Let's see what does more. Okay, 13, 338. Or if we put Hogan out here at 1,100. Yeah, not even close. Okay, so we're going to go type here. So we got steel for green move points. We got uh, old school powerhouse Cena here for 45% red move damage. I got Dawkins for 10% red move damage. That brings us up to 500k on the big ending. And then I got the red gems do 15% more damage. We're going to take a look at the title. I am running Armor Fury. I didn't have um, a red move damage armor metal or fury metal. I don't know. I don't remember why I said it this way. I know that I didn't have something that I needed to fill double armor. I wanted to go double armor because I thought with the big um, finisher that the kick out would be whatever. But, I mean, I guess this was armor. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe I didn't have a gem damage, something. Whatever. Anyways, we're using 133% red move damage on the armor. And we're not worried about the skill plate right now. That's going to be for something different that we're going to do. But... We're going to get out here, test out this first move set against one Jim Duggan. All right, so we're going to hit the 3 by 4 Now, he's charged, but I'm not too concerned with Duggan hitting very hard, so... Let's go ahead and blast that. We got the bleed. We got the finish ready. You got one shot here, Duggan, because I don't know that you're getting up when I hit the big ending. There's so much you could do with this, depending on... Per yeah, I could have put a bleed damage trainer on there instead of the move damage, but in this case, the move damage is going to affect both red moves, which is going to give a lot of extra damage. If you put the bleed on, it's only going to affect the one-turn bleed. So, 
I wasn't a fan of that. Because I know some people are going to go, why didn't you use Rollins? And that's why. So we'll go ahead and hit that 396k. See, that's a lot of move damage. 475 plus he's bleeding. And we're going to go ahead and hit 871k plus a 5x5 five five of botch. I mean, cheap shot would be excellent right here. Holy schmoly. Yeah, good luck. Oh, he might kick out. I'm over here talking all this and that. He might kick out. But he don't. Biggie. Absolutely awesome in match number one. Let's get out here and check another moveset. Okay, we're going to take a look at the four-star moveset here. We got double blue moves now. We got the body slam, eight charge, deal 53,000 damage, swap a two by four random area to green. We got the overhead belly to belly, nine charge blue, deal 83,000 damage, and modify a one by five random area to cross break gems. Then we got a nine charge green, gorilla press slam, deal 65,000 damage, and choose four gems to destroy. The pin bar will not move. That's interesting. Now we're going to go Lawler, and then we're going to go Zombie Seth. Now that's going to get us up to choose Seth as green moves uh, that destroy gems will destroy four more gems. So that's going to give us up to choose eight for the Gorilla Press Slam here. Now we want to use Lawler first, because I want to use the Body Slam to fill the Gorilla Press Slam, which would also mean the overhead belly to belly would still be full. So we can modify the one by five cross break gems, and then we can use the Gorilla Press Slam to destroy those, blow up the board without moving the pin meter now we're gonna go santa hogan for 1100 more damage on any gem and we got lacy here for 20 percent purple and green i didn't switch the title um i'm like riding on empty on currency there so we're gonna ride this match out and i thought the uh if i didn't have a lot of uh a currency to use for this i thought that it was better suited to pump the red because i feel like this is going to be more about trickery and reloading the board and such so now this is a random area of green so mindless now but that's going to make it cascade pretty much all the time because you're not going to be able to control it at all i'm happy what i wanted to see, I, I definitely wanted to see uh the blue the other blue move and the green move together now i did have that skill plate on and that was for this set uh, I got the Honky Tonk Blue, so when I destroy green, I get blue MP because there is no straight recycle on this. I mean, you can hope there's enough blue to refill when you blow the board up, but if there's not, I want to make sure the skill plate's giving us a little bit of blue back. Okay, one by five, random area to cross break. Of course. It always does that. It always does that. That's not getting broke. And then we'll take another green there. All right, and skill plate, yeah, buddy. And the pin meter did not move. Now, I don't have a wild card, so I can't swipe out here. But I can go ahead and do the body slam again, get some more damage down, refill that sucker. And we go again. Now, without the move damage metal, it's just going to take twice as long here. Because this move set is, uh, it's recycling, but it's not heavy power, per se. It's going to need the, the cross break gems to land a little better, blow up the whole board, have a little bit more favorable colored gems on the board. And double fury would have helped as well.
Ah, oh, that was not smart. Anyways, that 456k there, not bad. I wonder, should I just try to hit this with that? Let's try to hit the blues together here. I know we're going to break our cycle, but let's just, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. What if it lands on it? We need a big hit to try and hold a pin at some point, so. <clears throat> ah, we got a cascade, but it didn't touch any of those cross breaks. Are you kidding me? Now, that turn did go a lot better for me, so we did, uh, we did take a substantial health lead there, so I was worried it was going to be, like, way, way too long of a match. Now, it's still going to be a long match, don't get me wrong, but if I could put out, like, a million a turn, it's not going to be as long as I thought it was going to be. All right, the pin bar will not move. So now we can use this to kind of recycle some stuff. Uh, let's just do that. That'll drop into that. Well, no, we can just do that. That's going to be all of those, all of those. Hmm. Not bad. A 500k bopper. Go ahead and put that down. Now we're doing some damage here. Now we're doing some damage this turn. Because pin bar ain't going to move again. I don't know why at the beginning of this match I was treating these as X-break gems. If you're like, what the heck is he doing? So now that I uh, got my bearings down, I could destroy these a little better. So I was gonna, I was gonna act all tough, like uh... <laughs> all right. Now we, we broke more gems. Now there we go, and we're gonna hit this again. Now if I had the move damage metal on there, like a percent blue metal, whew, he'd really be he'd be slapping. Hit it. Ah! It just doesn't want to hit. Those, but hey, I can still blow it up again. Can still blow it up again. And that's going to get all of them. So here, here. Doesn't matter. Ooh, 718 there. Not bad. Come on, land on it. Land on it one time. There we go. Finally. And we got a beautiful cascade there. There we go, 964. So, took me a little bit. Took me a little bit there. But uh, you get the picture. We destroyed him. Just took a little longer than I would have liked. So, we could have buffed him a little more with the strap and stuff. I suppose maybe Zombie Seth wasn't needed there, but I would have liked, you know, before I'm really, really comfortable with him, I would have liked the opportunity to uh, change things on the board, um, you know, be able to recycle a little better, get yourself out of a bad spot by picking a bunch of gems to destroy. Plus, with the pin meter not moving on that, um, that helps out a bunch. So let's get out here and check out another move okay. set. We're going to sub in the five-star move here. We're going to put the E-Train in. Five charge, red, deal, 38,000 damage. Choose a one-by-three area to make the one-turn countdown gems that will deal one damage and make seven random gems into red gems. Uh, so that's going to flood red, which is going to fill up the other. We put the big ending and the running splash back in from the first move set, but now we're running Sting, so we want to start with red. Brought back the other trainers and coaches there. Seeing a Typhoon Dawkins, red move, red gem. And we left the strap the same, so that, uh, that 
red move damage metal will be in full effect here. 133% red move damage metal. Okay, so... Um, Duggan wasn't going to be a great choice for that match because every time I try to leave my countdown gems on the board, Duggan is somebody who cascades every turn, so he either makes my countdown gems go off while I'm being pinned, or he destroyed them off the board before they got a chance to go off. So, wasn't going to be the greatest person to check this move set against. So, we went ahead, moved up a match here. We're going against the Planets Champion. And, oh, if I could have got a five match against Duggan, that would have, well, I guess it still wouldn't have mattered, but. <laughs> I played the match out for a little while, and I'm like, if I could just get one five match, we could see these go off. Like, I just want to see the damage output. Here we go, here we go. Alright, not great. Not great, to be honest. 291 now note i'm still i'm using that to fill my finisher if i wanted to focus damage on that i would have used a red gem damage trainer instead of a red move damage trainer but that's still not a ton of countdown gems so and not a ton of red gems so i feel like the buff from the move damage is still going to be greater because when a move damage is that high like look at it's going to be a couple hundred thousand that it's adding on things at 500k in the pre-lobby so we're getting 300 and well that's from the metal but you know what i mean i'm getting like a lot from using the move damage trainer and the gems would only hit on that one thing and it wouldn't affect anything else but that move damage trainer is affecting everything and you can't kick out of that finish so Let's be honest, we're just trying to fill the finisher, so I don't know what y'all think about Big E. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, but that's all I got for you today. Until next time, peace.